And here we are, I think. Are we live? <laughs> yes. No? All right. Now we're going to start a new career, the up and away career for the NASA flag. Since that's where I'm from, the it's NASA's. two seconds off. Well, that's not too bad. So this was the same sort of basic introduction seen more than twice, I think, at this point. If. Don't bother. Let me Don't tweak bother. this just a slight bit. That way we can read. <laughs> All right. So, tracking station where we can see people and things. You can tell our career has reduced us. Our space plane here is really small compared to the sandbox mode. So we start with a much more basic environment. The vehicle building. This is exactly like it was yesterday. Well, no, it's a, you know, everything is a bit smaller. The astronaut complex, the building is smaller. You, in sandbox mode, you have access to That's everything. That's what she said. Uh -huh. Alright, so if I remember right, what we do is we go to mission control. Here are our available contracts. This is what we do to get points. So, gather scientific data from Kerbin. Cover and transmit scientists experiment data from Kerbin. To I can't Kerbin. see the rest of it because it's behind your head. Ah. Did you read what the briefing was? I'm getting through it, yeah. Let's give it a swift kick. <laughs> of course. Um, the dude wrote that. <laughs> of course. Uh, it's a trivial prestige, I, I'm sure, because you're kicking stuff. Of course it will. My head out. <laughs> Give us a quick crew report before launching. Okay. So that's not a big guy, a big thing. And we want to launch our first vessel. A very controlled bang. Of course. Launch your first vessel off the launch pad or the runway to achieve this goal. That's going to be. That's that contract. Now we're going to go out to the vehicle building and build ourselves a rocket. Vana von Karman, chief, chief rocket, rocket engineer. engineer. This is where we build our stuff. On the left, you find the components. Around with the rice mount. Rice mouse coming. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, you need more in depth explanation on how to build. Have a look at the training section. We did that. We did some training, so we're not starting off totally. Totally noob. So let's go the ahead. camera can count your eyelashes. Right? Especially on the zoom. So, this we knew was pretty straightforward. Yeah. We got a so command nice. pod. Yeah, but we have a lot pod. less stuff to play with, right? We've got one engine, one command pod, and one parachute. <laughs> all right, there's a there's a spacecraft, except the staging is all wrong. We don't want the rocket and the parachute to come in at the same time, right? <laughs> that would be problematic. All right, and all this. The Dingus One, of course, because <laughs> everything's going to be the Dingus ships. 
All right, now they said something about a crew report, and the crew report is... It's it. Oh, yeah, it's kind of behind my head, isn't it? Messages, contracts, crew report. See better. Chief. Yeah, that plan. <laughs> what am I missing towards achieving my goal here? The other scientific data, so. Oops, take my rocket apart. Here. Craft. Out. And I'm missing something here. Achieve the goal, they say. What am I missing? Engineer report. Engineer's report. Size. Height. Show severity. Yeah, this was like the warnings. So let's well, let's do this. Three of thirty. I was like, delete the engine. See what our report says now. Parts two of thirty. Two of thirty. The mass. All that design checklist. I can't see that's all behind you. Over yeah. here clicking. Alright. Oh, I'm at a, at a bit of a loss, but we'll just start launching the vehicle. Let's put her back together. Put the engine back on her. We can a much more straightforward task to launch the vessel. View here. All right. <clears throat> so, Engineer's report is still behind your head. Well, I put it back there. We're just gonna head out to the launch pad. Pause it. <laughs> <laughs> there it goes. Oh, oh, that's not much of a launch pad, is it? <laughs> Jeez, sandbox is so much nicer. <laughs> yeah, you get a little piece of concrete to launch from. That's it. All right, Jeb. I don't know what you're talking about. So this launch pad area. See how all it is no. is a piece of concrete. No, you don't see it. Or it just looks weird. What are you saying? No, it just looks weird. No, none of that. What don't you see? just a launch pad. So yeah. It's just a concrete circle versus the... It'd be gravel. Well, when we were yeah. when we were in sandbox mode, it was all a big old platform and all this kind of stuff. Was it? Yes. It was far nicer than just a concrete pad out in the yard. <laughs> but this is their first launch, so... Three, two, one. What happened to my noises? It launched anyway. Ah! Oh, I hit the button twice. Apparently. <laughs> oh no! I put the engine back, Don't and I forgot that. the stage. Dude, see, I forgot to stage it. That's what the problem was. I added the engine back and forgot to reset the staging. It's a tragedy. But why is my sound? I don't hear the game. Do you hear the game? Yeah. That's because it was muted. Funny thing that that's how mutes work. I see Jedediah. Jedediah. Well, I could restart this launch, but you know, in reality, we succeeded. So <laughs> it was a crappy launch, but it was a first launch. We're gonna time warp back down to the planet. 
Doesn't look like we got very far. I'm surprised we survived at all. Me surprised. too, since we went around and around in circles. <laughs> I was surprised he didn't like get sick or something. Blech. <laughs> Went really close to. Oop. Just knocked myself over a little. Alright, so there's that. We can recover the vessel. And we have done our first launch, so we should get some sort of reward. You go, Elon. Elon. <laughs> Recovery of missile from flight. We got five science, five data, one data gathered. Data value is five. Dollars, I guess, or whatever the curve and currency is, and five cents. And then we got all our parts back, or some of our parts back. Yeah. Recovered some funds, and we made our crew. Yay! That's nice. Now what's our contracts? Gather scientific data, cover or transmit any science experiment data from Kerbin. I'm not sure where the science would be. Maybe the research and development lab. Oh no, this is where we get to spend it all. So we managed to have 10 sciences. And we could buy all these extra parts with 5 sciences. And you buy any of those? Those are 1,200, Or I should say we researched them for 5. And then we are able to use them, but when we use them, they cost all these monies. But in order to have them available, you have to research them. Burn up all our research points on those two. And then yeah, this is the whole tree of stuff you can deserve, uh, research and get. And in sandbox mode, you just have a lot. I have to go to the store and buy those books. <laughs> those the books are the cheap books. <laughs> yeah, now they just <laughs> they just let you have the game That's in, a bunch of in crap. total open mode. <laughs> That's crap, dude. That's no fun. Well let's see what kind of vehicle we can build now. So the same game. Game. We got some fuel tank. We got a liquid engine. A solid rocket booster. That same small The booster. hammer. Yeah. Well, uh, the, the hammer. I thought that said torrents, but it says tolerance. It's tolerance. <laughs> tolerance. Torrents! <laughs> and a liquid engine. Let's see. Command and control, nothing. Ridder support. <sighs> Build the structure of your dreams. Decoupler. <coughs> no payloads, one set of fins. Let's, let's use a bigger rocket. A bigger solid rocket. Right. But she's a fat one. Which fat one? The next one is fat. Well, he's actually smaller. Uh, so it's two. I see that yeah. one is only one. <coughs> and that okay, one is uh, 1.5 ton. Mass, max thrust of 162. Uh, this one has a max thrust of 197. So the 50 only... keys, whatever the hell that is. <laughs> I'm not sure what a keys is. Gs? Meaning the amount of force it can take? I guess that's what it's supposed to be. G's? G's? Like G forces? Yeah, like G forces. I imagine. So here's the thing. My question is... Or, well, let's, yeah, let's take a look at the parachute. Parachute. Well, that's just when it's going to fire. I, I want to know whether or not the parachute's going to be able to handle all that extra weight. Or if I need a decoupler to throw away the engine. Give you a decoupler if you need it. Uh, well, though you kind of could build your rocket wrong. <laughs> uh, made of more stuff found lying around. There's a lot of that. Oh, this was found on the side of the road. 
This is who builds all sorts of confidence in it. Um, no. Max temp. Man, it doesn't say how much. So, let's just go for it. Big fat rocket. Solid rocket. Maybe we need some fins, though. Don't we need a fin? I can put, like, four fins. Let's put a lot of fins. <laughs> all the fins. All the fins in the world. <laughs> Oh, for the love of Kerbin God, whatever that is. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Only one God. <laughs> the Kerbin God. <laughs> Alright. Digus One has got an upgrade, so I'm not going to bother to keep naming them. <laughs> I'm just going to. You're not going to save Digus it? Digus Two? Alright, let's save it as Digus Two. Alright, now well, let's launch them. And I forgot the staging again. See? No. You're about you to haven't see. launched yet. <laughs> You're about to see, but yeah, I can fix the staging. Oh, the damn, you went to the launch pad. That's okay, you can fix it at the launch pad. I do rocket first, then parachute. And we want to automatically stay pointing upright. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> He's not too bad off. Parachute still says that uh, it can not a good deploy. time to deploy. It looks red. Yeah, not a good time to deploy. <laughs> so we'll wait it's for yellow. another thumb touch. Yeah, it's like orange is kind of like not the greatest time. <laughs> All right. So now, don't you want to point it down then? Or are you trying to go orbit? Oh, look at that. I don't have automatic... Uh, controls like I did before in sandbox mode, so that's a pain. I need to figure out how to twist myself around in orbit on my own. <laughs> See, that roughly looks like uh, putting my butt toward the earth, doesn't it? You're still going up. Oh, this is true. <laughs> I'm still coasting upward. Well, I guess we'll wait until we're beginning to go down. Just time what, 19 fucking 2025? <laughs> Alright. Now we gotta. There you're going our, down too fast. Aim our butt to the earth. There we go. You're going down fast. I know, I think I might be too high. I don't know. Our, our, <laughs> this, this, this whole rocket body might explode on re entry. <laughs> Considering it's not very aerodynamic. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We're going to burn up all the Well, make it dynamic, aerodynamic, right? Well, he wants no, a butt. No, not the butt part, really. Oh, no. Oh, well, that's just the aerodynamic. <laughs> I want the parachute to blow up. Yeah, I got to get past this, otherwise it'll burn up. Target. Poor Jebediah. Jebediah is great. Jebediah flew into the ground. It was not pretty. I didn't see Jebediah before he died. No. I, I wasn't looking at him going, ah! <laughs> if he was. I don't think he did that. And there is no vessel to recover. Wah, 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 wah. You want to revert to launch? I'm going to go back to the vehicle assembly building because clearly we need to decouple that engine. So, go get ourselves a decoupler. What does decouple mean? It's a 
thing that blows apart so that the pieces come apart. So that when you fire it, the bottom part falls away. Yeah, that's smart. Yeah, we need to do that because obviously it's way too hot and heavy. <laughs> obviously. Obviously. Now let's fix the staging while we're here. Like good engineers <laughs> doing it well ahead of the event. So, Dingus 2 was originally not worth saving, but this one might be. Oh, man, now you gotta save your failures too, man. What are you uh, talking about? But, I can't save my failures. It blew up! Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> so, maybe this is the Dingus 2A. <laughs> sure, we're not. Yeah. Alright, back to the launch pad. This <laughs> should be. To be, but whatever. <laughs> or not to be. It <laughs> could be really bad. Alright, so I don't get any... I get stability um, help, but it doesn't have automatic targets to keep you on There's the spot. Pitch and yaw and roll. Yeah, and that's <coughs> all with the joystick. And this big button here that makes it go long. Alright, two, two, one. <laughs> You're launching. You're going up. Now we want to go over the ocean, I think. We're going to cruise a little bit this way. Just a little to my right. Hurry up, come on, why don't you turn? <laughs> I'm guessing it has just too much aerodynamic drag on all those fins. Oh, oh. Did you? It's not as high as I wanted to go, but I'd rather do that than burn up. Okay, a rocket debris is falling into the ocean safely. That's nice. How do you know that? Well, uh, if I go way down here, here's this little rocket debris falling away from us. It will eventually go bang when it runs into the into the ocean. But at least it's in the ocean. You're coming back down already. Am I? Oh, uh, 45. No. Still up. The thing's going to... Oh, when it hits the water, it doesn't go boom. Apparently. Only when it gets the land it just does it go boom. It's just a nice silent play. Oh look, I'm getting up to see the, the curve of the earth. 57, 58, 59, 60, you're in space. Let's see. Lights on. <laughs> I see a light. I know. Seven seventy-eight. We're still cruising up. How far are you gonna go up? Oh, as up as it'll take me. Which apparently is one hundred and three thousand meters. I don't know how long that is because I'm an American. You're not a Kerbin. So I mean, I get meters. So water's water everywhere in the universe, right? So I get that mass and a cubic centimeter might be a gram of water but a meter is based off of the diameter of the earth and some division that would be different on Kerbin <laughs> but maybe Kerbin's the exact same size of the earth I don't know alright we're getting ready to hit re-entry oh don't give me that I don't know what, oh it looks like you're spinning like a nut yeah I, I recaptured but I can't remember. Alright, let's go back to map mode, that's why. Alright, so here's where we're cruising over the top. Just stuck on that. If I track this uh, little yellow emblem here, that's keeping myself nose into the into the path of flight. Now you're going down. And so now that I'm going down, I want to be the other way. Is this little emblem? I didn't think I'd hand fly an aircraft, a spacecraft. I Your think butt's going to come in first? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the idea. They call that retrograde. That's this emblem, which I'm assuming is re in the real world the same emblem I have. I'll have to ask the guys at the 
place when I go. <laughs> Be like, how realistic is this <laughs> towards what you guys do? There we go. You're coming back to 97. Now see this. 96. This here sass is stability assist. Yeah. And that keeps you from having to do a lot of movement with the joystick. Let's see what I'm, how good I am without it. Here I am without the, the sass. You have to give it a little bit of the alternate direction to stop. 85. It. Just barely touch it. Oh, I, like, I like that stability assist. <laughs> This is probably not the best controller for this yeah, kind of space. It's all 75. Oh, dang it. Turn it back on. <laughs> now, when the air gets thick enough. 70. Can you see this meter it's up? It's auto saving. Yeah. Can you see this meter up here? Or can you see my yes, Oscar that's from what I'm looking at. Yeah. So, this is the thickness 60. of the atmosphere. That's how many meters you're going up, then. Yeah, the big the big number is the meters. So you're out of the atmosphere now. Yeah, and my speed is accelerating. So I might still be coming in too fast because I took a flight too straight up and then too straight down. Yeah. And now I'm going to come in too fast for my heat shield. I don't know. But you didn't burn up. You didn't burn any energy off. There it is. Well, there's no way to burn off any energy because uh, I got no rockets. <laughs> this is the problem with solid rockets. Once you fire them, you can't stop them. So. Oh, that's not too bad. That didn't look like too bad a re entry. I'm already down to 500 meters a second. Parachute. No, this is how the supersonic parachutes go. They drag closed for a while just to slow you down and then they pop open. It's designed to deploy at a thousand meters. Or that's the settings. A six minute flight. So the big lesson is solid rockets should really only be boosters and not be first stages unless you got a whole lot of extra heavy some time to fiddle fart. <laughs> Alright, time warp already. <laughs> well, that was a good flight. Not a great flight, Mike. We, we got some some points and some data and some science. Recovered some parts. Parachute. We didn't use. Oh, that's what I should. This thing that says mono propellant. Uh, that's on the capsule itself and it's used for the reaction. I'll show you. Anyway, we could have uh, slowed ourselves down with some mono propellant and not. Uh, and not just risk the re-entry, but it didn't turn out too bad. This is not what you want your, your leader of your thing going, eh, you know, it didn't work out so bad after all. 
That's <laughs> a pep talk. <laughs> pep talk. Alright, so first off, we've got way too many ridiculous fins. So we're going to be done with the fins. We need maybe four. Well, at first off, we don't need no solid rocket. So, now that we've got a liquid rocket, let's give it a liquid engine or liquid fuel. Is the sound synchronized with my lips? No. No? No, right now, yeah. Okay. That's fine. Alright, so the plan is to launch. Put the stats on. Uh, and then we're going to turn maybe... Ooh. Now it's some two seconds off. Now it's two seconds off. So we're going to turn uh, 70 or 60 degrees or so. Not too much. Just so we start a little bit of an arc that way, and then we get flat, we can go that way, and hopefully either get into orbit or land on the other side of the planet, one of the two. <laughs> you know, like Musk wants to, right? Just take off and land on the other side of the planet. You ready? Yeah, since you want. Oh, we'll be able to throttle up. <laughs> <laughs> Tim and I, good luck. Good luck and Godspeed, Kim and I. Here we go, we're going to turn slightly. Now I get to the side. Oh, my hand burned up on my fuel. Oh, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, 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 Don't that oh. Way. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I got no, I got no authority. I got no authority. Whatever. Ah. Oh, there you go. Ah. Well, that wasn't the mission I had planned, but. <laughs> and there goes our rocket. Well, underneath us somehow. <laughs> Why are you going that way? It's flying to the other side of the world, like you said. Why are you going that way, Mr. Rocket? <laughs> okay. It's going we, straight at. We sent a rocket 13. booster to the moon. Oh, I gotta get my get my butt in retrograde. Just barely touch it. Alright. We're good for parents. Oh, turn on the sass. It is on. <laughs> That's how bad That's it how is. bad it is? <laughs> Well, it's just so touchy. Um, I think there's a mode that has a little sen more sensitive uh, maneuvering. This is a good time to do a D EVA. I don't know what EVA means. Extra vehicular <laughs> stepping out of the thing. No. 
cannot disembark while off of curbing surface as per my contract upgrade required. Oh, apparently I can't do an EBA because we ain't got no jetpack yet. Which is good because I can't fly it. <laughs> yet. Alright, speed up. Let's get to the ground. Get to the capturing part. So once again, I ask you, mm -hmm. what part of this is a game? Oh, I'll show you. So we did this mission, right? We succeeded, even though we jacked it up in a bit. Of it, right? And by succeeding in this mission and recovering our vessel, we get science points, money, money by recovering parts. So we get science for having actually done something. But the more you redo the, so you get like eight points of science the first time you do something, and then every time you redo it, you get less and less science because you're just doing the same thing over and over again. Um, and then here we recovered some things, but we didn't recover the, the uh, booster. Recovered. And recovered the pilot. So there's the scoring points, and so now we can go back to research and development. We managed to build up 19 points of science. So there's... Oh, can't afford that yet. Stability. Nose cones. Some winglets. Radial decouplers. This will allow us to put uh, solid rocket boosters on the side. Do that one. And I got no more money. Or, no more science. So that's all the science I got. Go make ourselves a solid rocket booster kind of rocket.
it. <laughs> One. Yeah, no, we'll be two, I'm sure. Just try to. There's a lot of tension. That's what I want. that it flies very far and gets hot and burns up. Oh no! But poor That's Jebediah. Just my it's always Jebediah. Why is it always Jebediah? I don't know. Why is it always Jebediah? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. we're <coughs> turning to look up Bible. What he did in the Bible. <laughs> we're gonna make sure we have full power on our liquid fuel once we fire it, instead of just going thunk. All right, you ready? Yeah, three, two, two one. I don't think we went uh, nah. far enough. Nah, we're it's not gonna not, go. Far. We're certainly not going fast enough. There's orbit. Sixty, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, we're going. Seven. That's not too bad an arc. Uh -uh. Dingus three. The Dingus three. We're gonna fly over to the other continent. Oh. This vaguely looks like Africa. <laughs> I think they intentionally, you know, made it vaguely. Open. Is it the whatever that thing was called? The PA? I don't know. The secret is Kerbal is Earth after they blew it up! Oh. No, I don't know. 
So we're gonna head up here to the uh, top of this, and then this is reaction thrusters. Is that gonna land in water? Yeah, but this reaction thruster might allow me to extend the arc a little bit. I'm not gonna make it to orbit with the reaction thrusters. But I can it's never like make it. Uh, Texan man. Just what? Huh? It's kind of like he's from Texas. Like I'm from Texas. Yeah. Suppose I might be. Yes. You think I need to get my cowboy hat? <laughs> Maybe. Red cat. The blue one. It's over there, on top of the shelf there. I'm flying right now. I'm flying. <laughs> I'm he flying says. On a spaceship. I'm flying on a spaceship. Spaceship. It's not the space. <laughs> it's a capsule. Yes, the capsule. <sighs> Texan. It's just a touch small. <laughs> How's that? That's not a good look. I like it. No, you need to push Bye. it down a little bit. <laughs> no! No, not <laughs> No! It's, it's too small for my big old fat head. That's not. That's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> Alright. Does so it hurt? Only when I wear it. <laughs> Well, don't wear it. Give it to me. This is not so good. It's better on you. <laughs> I got glasses. And... We'll wear the official Kirkham hat here. Wee! <laughs> I'm a wild guy or whatever the hell. Ferrari. Guy Ferrari. Guy Fiero. Fiero Rocher. <laughs> guy Fiero Rocher. <laughs> With a fuzzy hair and a little ball of hazelnut. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so can you fast forward to that? Yes, I can fast forward. Because you're like a third the way through. Yes, but, but let us make sure we're in the prograde direction. Pointing our nose forward. And then we will fast forward. because we're in space so there's no air to worry about. So all I gotta worry about is pointing the engines in the right direction. What? Oh my lord, you're very far out. <laughs> I'm only uh, 297,000 well uh, 297 kilometers. Meters. Yeah, 297,000 meters. Trying to put my butt in the right direction, but apparently... My, I have no... Why I have monopropellant if I don't have any reaction control thrusters? These are supposed to be like little jets that burp stout air uh, gas to turn your ship around and move you forward and back. And uh, I guess I don't have it. I, I did in the sandbox. This is, I probably never should have <laughs> spoiled myself with sandbox mode. <laughs> now I'm all like, why can't I do this? Oh yeah, because you can't do that yet. <laughs> Can you buy it? Well, you either... Research the science necessary, uh, or so you research the science, and then your budget is when you use it. You have to research it to have it, and then you have to spend the money to use it. Jebediah is happy. We are. Yeah. Yeah. Let's look at what. So that is not the control panel that I'm dealing with. <laughs> but it's, it's interesting that it's close. <laughs> 
bitch roll y'all are probably those uh, it's falling the things around stars. my head. Yeah, well, true, right? In three dimensions is three dimensions. Oh, look at the star. Venus is a retrograde. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. That's it. There you, you go. You, you pick a really slow way to die going up in the space. <laughs> or fast. Oh, here we go. Uh, that's what Three I just said. Here comes Z. I don't think we're going too fast. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Thousands. That doesn't sound good. I don't know what's blowing up. What are those things? I think that's the model. That red thing I never saw before. It's like a little countdown timer for the health of something or the amount of heat it can withstand. If it does still alive. Yeah, I'm not sure what blew up or or maybe that's the heat shield blowing up. I don't know. Any more explanation? <laughs> I need more explanation. But let's see. My I'm, I'm still slowing down. My surface speed. how slow I can get before the parachute. That way the parachute doesn't have to go for so long. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Well, in order to not take forever to land while you're dangling from the parachute, <laughs> You can wait to let the parachute out until later. Until so you're five meters <laughs> from it to 500 miles. Well, maybe about 2,000 meters because it's supposed to get fat, the fully deploy at 1,000 meters. So maybe let it out 1,000 meters ahead of that. But that way it doesn't take quite so long to get down. But we can still time warp through the rest of that. Hmm. Yes, my little puppy. You two want to fly? Tootsie, Tootsie. Tootsie, my goodsie. Here, good little girl. Your outfit doesn't look too green screeny. It looks blue. Yeah. <laughs> Man, it's blue. It's weird. <laughs> Why did you do that to her? Because she doesn't have me. Go on, puppy. Yes, yes. Who's involved? <laughs> Are you cold? Recover vessel. Alright. So, believe it or not, we've been at this for 54 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, as long as you're building stuff. Yeah. We'll do it for an hour. Yeah, that's, that's about good for... I'm totally cool with that. Well, let's see... I'm gonna eat yeah. something. Let's go back to mission control. Let's see... Oh, is he talking? All he says is, man. <laughs> what are you Kurt drinking? Did yeah. I die? Oh, that's Werner von Kerman. Oh, hey, see what's... What a, that's Gene Kerman. Oh, yeah, that's Gene, Gene Kerman. You see the white vest? What are you drinking? Well, what was it? Was right now, son? How are we supposed to do this? <laughs> One of the founding principles of the Kerbin World First re Record. Great society is to continue to advance the frontiers of science. We still have we unchecked still items. Have unchecked items. items. Oh, you still? No, we still. Uh -oh. Give us a quick crew report before launching. Find if any of the lights on the control panel are flashing. Just give it a swift kick. It's wrong. <laughs> and see, if I complete that goal, I get 6,400 uh, 
dollars on science, but well, 6,400 units that allow me to do science and to buy parts. Keep going. To you got one more good flight out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. We were supposed to do a vehicle report, engineering report, and I don't know. I'll be heating up some food while you do that report. It's an engineering report, it says. Then how do I execute it? Design should. Can lab transmit science unused monopropellant resource. Unused what? No. There we go. Unused monopropellant. Monopropellant. The vessel has like one monopropellant container which is not used by or connecting to anything that requires. <laughs> Though no wonder something is always exploding and Useless. I don't use it. Less. So how do I get rid of it? <laughs> Most useless thing ever. Can Why I is your hair waving? Oh, that's just the artifact. <laughs> the artifact of the green screen. <laughs> are you, you going through a tunnel? Yeah. What the hell, man? So, <laughs> design do. checklist. Craft stats. Design. Okay, so maybe. That's, oh, we need to scroll down. That's what we're missing. <laughs> so I think that's, uh, did, that, did that complete our mission? I have no earthly idea. No. That's something about doing an engineer report. That's an engineer report, right? There's the engineer report. There it is. The craft stats and the design checklist. Parts 20 of 30. Informational, meaning it's not critical. Critical stuff. Warning stuff, critical stuff. Okay. So you don't need any monopropellant in this? No. I just don't know how to get rid of it. <laughs> well, didn't you put it on there? Well, there's the. It was part of the pod. It has 10 monopropellant in it, in the pod. Pod, pod stats, are you seeing the pod stats? Uh, where? They're, they're not. They're over here. There you go. <laughs> Let's see. for adjusting the timing of various things like if your camera seems to god this hat is making me so wet all over jeez <laughs> we'll do Ugh. that oof all right you ready yeah well first off let's uh, this time we're gonna launch with just solid rocket boosters and then fire the, no the fins? liquid uh there's fins but they're like little tiny Little bitty, little oh, bitty fins. Cold. Oh, her is cold. Oh, my roll so slow. Oh, All right. You ready to go outside? Yes. Say three, three two, two, one. Let's go.
Still a D. <laughs> you're tumbling. Girl, you're freezing. this time. stage the dingus three debris It's hard to hear what you say. If that's a microphone in your ear, it's probably not being in use your voice. You are at four warp. That's why it moves so fast. Oh, okay. I forgot to get out of warp while it was falling. <laughs> so that's, thanks for the thanks for the tip there. Yeah, we've got a bad mic yet still. We're using one to share between us. Hence the Maximum amplification. But I can, uh, let's see, we can control the game volume. Well. <coughs> volume mixer. Herbal. Lower him down. There. That should be a little better. 
And now to recover the vessel. And get back to the thing and we can see some... Uh, how long ago did they send the chat there? I have no idea. Thanks. You're still with us. How, how, how's that sound then? Mike versus game. Found a little better maybe? Let's see. Alright, we got some science. We got some parts. We got a pilot who apparently never gains any experience even though he's flown like seven times. Alright, well I think that's probably it for tonight. <laughs> we got somewhere in it. Uh, we're going to figure out how to do an engineering report and the what? a few other things. An engineering report? The one thing that we were supposed to do from the ground? <laughs> Over here in Mission Control. Oh, Gather scientific data from Kerbin. I figured out how to do that. But anyway, let's see. There might be some other stuff to do. Test the hammer solid fuel booster at the launch site. Chief bottle washer at the R&D development <laughs> stumbled onto the problem. Oh, that's the class. Tested at the launch site. Activate the part through the staging suit. When all test conditions are met. Incomplete. 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 If you fail, you lose reputation, money, and if you decline it, you lose reputation. Well, thanks a lot. <laughs> Just I guess it. we'll do that. Do you do? Gene. <laughs> Tested at the launch pad. Want something to drink? Yes, please. anyway <laughs> because that's what we do here <laughs> let's see how crazy it goes all right this may not be good <laughs> I got no stability assist no controls let's just launch it and see what happens three two one. Oh, guess what when you have no control, you can't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah, wah. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good at all. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, revert flight uh, back to the vehicle assembly. <laughs> well, we did the
this before where we put this solid rocket booster and just the capsule and it got really 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 hot. Coupler. We need the parachute. Oh yeah, coupler. Yeah, that would help. Did coupler. start over and get it going here. Parachute. He's very good at undoing. Yeah. When in doubt, control Z. Oh, wait. We need the uh, decoupler. There we go. That's a decent enough rocket. And then that's supposed to be able to test it. Hey. Alright. And now this one is here. Uh, him, override him, launch him, uh, staging. Oh, okay, it's all right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Overreact much? <laughs> all right. Now, staging now. Sass on. Staging is cool. We got engine decoupled. Parachute. Alright, <laughs> being Oh, Oh, he ain't dead yet. Well, he has died once. <laughs> Take that back. I killed him once. You ready? Give me I'm ready. Down. Three, two, one. Oh, oh die, Jebediah. Come on, Jebediah. He looks so happy. He looks so happy. happy. He's perfectly fine. He's just sitting there. Have a nice little laboratory ride. Get some G forces. Uh oh, the G forces are getting in the bridge. That's not good. It's ice arm bulging. Does this ice bulge? I can't turn on the stupid solid rocket booster. Oh. There we go. Oh, that's okay. Really hot, but we're okay. I think. <laughs> <laughs> He's happy. Yay! Yeah, he's made it to space almost. Almost. The uh, he's far from space. He I think we hit space up. as soon as the music comes on. <laughs> Fifty one. Fifty six. It's like two seconds off. Is it? Sixty. All right. Oh, another 10 kilometers to space. <laughs> oh, I guess. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 70 kilometers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm completely surprised that kilometers are the same on Kerbin. <laughs> but I'm sure they had to do that so all this math would work out easily. <laughs> we don't need no unit conversion problem. Uh, <laughs> now, Howard, what are you? What is your? Let's see, Howard. It's a not a big flight. <laughs> Safely out in the ocean. 
So 70 kilometers is space. On space. Is that true on Earth? The final frontier. I don't have my Google in front of me. Alright, let's just warp. But let's remember to stop warping. <laughs> I thought it auto slowed down, but I guess not. Hey, you're only warping to 10. And we're super warping now, so you're okay, so You better stop, now. stop! Stop, stop, <laughs> We're gonna warp some more. I hope the pod holds up on the way down. Me too, man. We'll see. He's burning up. Let's get him, get him nice and retrograde so that the oh. shield takes all the brunt of it. Oh, here he comes. Don't die, Don't Jeb and die. die, Jeb and die. Oh, yeah. Well, that wasn't too bad. That was a fairly short read. <laughs> I don't right. have an idea. It's going slow. They were warning or how high is. We're flying at night, can't see where your land is. <laughs> All sorts of problems. <laughs> oh, well, we're f look, it's a beautiful Kerbin sunset landing. Could be a moon rise, you don't know. <laughs> Alright. Seems to be doing okay. Jeopardy's happy. He's like doing a little dance here and there. Right, let's stage our parachute. Before we forget and he smacks into the surface. Three thousand. Oh. Two. Nineteen. Seventeen. Fifteen. Fourteen. Thirteen. Twelve. Eleven. There it is. Oh. Yay. See? E of little face. Yeah, we've only killed him once tonight. And we had like six fights. <laughs> <laughs> One of them he spun around a lot, and I'm surprised he didn't like barf, but. <laughs> once. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Look at him, he's like doing the fall stance or something. <laughs> Well, that's a pretty scene, anyway. Yeah, right? A nice little sunset spacecraft landing. <laughs> Are we landing in the water? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> so we're, we're landing at sea level. Only, I... I, I <clears throat> it's hard to think. I mean, meter is roughly a yard, but I don't think of things in thousands of yards. <laughs> either, right? No, I think of them in hundreds of yards. Yeah, right. And then miles, of course. But... And splash down. Did he live? Dead or die? He's alive. I guess that's supposed to be his window, right? Transfer EVA. Hey! I'm sitting on the outside of my space shop. We gotta get into ocean. that magic mindset. I just can't. I don't. I'm old. Uh, whatever, they do it. They figure it out for me. That's the point of computers is to figure out the difference between those things. Let's see, climb out, you say. Oh, he climbed out. There go. <laughs> He's just floating in the ocean. Do -do 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 -do. Remove your helmet. Do -do -do. Climb and grab. Let's see. Eh, I apparently don't have control of him. Oh, there I do. Oh, look, he's trying to swim. <laughs> he's too close to the spacecraft. Whatever. Recover vessel! What did you get for all that? <laughs> That's what we're about to find out what we got all for that. Right, I'm interested in that. We won... Nothing in reputation. <laughs> no experience points gained. Why? No science recovered. No parts recovered. Only the crew. I guess because I stepped out, they only recovered him and let the thing sink. Probably because the door hey, was open and filled with water. <laughs> like, what is it? Freedom 7? No. Nah. I don't know. One of the missions, uh, early missions, landed. The guy popped the hatch and it sank. I forget which one that was. That was before I started watching. Yeah. Alright, well, 
think we're done. We need some food, right? Yes. All right. Well, that was fun. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Here's